Today, we're checking out our brand new SV503 70mm refractor, and we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the classic 80mm version. At first glance, they look pretty similar, right? But there's actually one key difference that can save you money and make your astrophotography setup way easier. The biggest highlight of the 70mm is the built-in field flattener, which means it's ready to shoot right out of the box. The 80mm, on the other hand, doesn't include a field flattener, so you'll need to grab the SV193 separately, which costs around $100 for dollars. Next, let's take a look at the full setup for both scopes. Seventy millimeters with the built-in field flattener. You just need to pair it with the SV six hundred five CC camera, SV two to one diagonal mirror, and you're good to go. Eighty millimeters. Since it doesn't have the built-in field flattener, you'll need to add the SV one nine three field flattener first, plus the SV six hundred five CC. SV2-7, SV226 to get the complete setup ready. So to sum it up, 0.70 millimeters, new model, built-in field flattener, ready to shoot right out of the box. 80 millimeters, classic model, bigger aperture, but you'll need to buy extra accessories. Of course, both scopes deliver amazing images. The 80mm collects more light thanks to its larger aperture, while the 70mm wins in simplicity, perfect for anyone who wants to get into astrophotography quickly. Which one would you pick? Let us know in the comments. And if you want to learn more details or grab one for yourself, check out the link to our Amazon store down below.